A Children's Story by author Nikki Fuller Josie's Whistle Gemma and Josie were sisters. They were very similar in many ways. They liked the same colours, they liked the same flavour ice cream, and they liked the same way their mum made the mashed potato. When they look in the mirror, they looked almost the same too. Two peas in a pod. Well, they were twins. But the one big difference was, Gemma was what you would call a ladylike girl. And then there's Josie. Well, one would say she's a little accident prone, maybe even a lot. It was the first day of the weekend, Josie's favourite day, and she got up later than usual and went into the bathroom to get washed and dressed. Squeezed a whirly piece of toothpaste onto her toothbrush and looked into the mirror to check the gap between her teeth, then looked down and the whirly toothpaste had dropped off down her t-shirt. Oops! While scooping it back up, she thought to herself, as she often did, Oh, only an accident. Mother was busy hoovering when Josie poked her head around the door. Where can I find my whistle? she asked. If it's not in your toy box, then you'll have to find it yourself, called her mum over the whirring of the hoover. She'd looked in the toy box and it wasn't there, so declared, Today I shall find my whistle. So after breakfast, she packed her rucksack with everything she thought she might need for her grand adventure, including a compass for directions and a few sticky fudges, in case she stopped for a break, and a wet wipe, as well she always got sticky. As she set off, she thought she might have dropped it, on her way back from Auntie Liz's. Just the thought of Auntie Liz's made her chuckle. She had different size ears and they stuck out and looked all funny. She pulled up her hood as it was a bit drizzly, and off she went, splashing in any puddle she could find, singing, Josie is my name, finding my whistle is my game, I'll find it on the way, on this rainy day. Josie strolled on and arrived at the village pond. There, enjoying the water, was a big brown duck. Excuse me, Mr. Duck, have you seen my whistle? The duck glanced up from the water. Wasps I have seen, worms I have seen, but whistles I have not. And with that, he swam off. Josie sighed, but carried on, until she arrived at the farm with old Hattie Horse and her foal. Sorry to disturb you, but have you seen my whistle? asked Josie. Hattie Horse stopped chewing the grass in the field and looked up. Weasels I have seen, wabbits I have seen, but whistles I have not. And with that, she carried on with the grass. Josie detected and decided to have a rest and perched herself on a fence. She popped her hand inside her pocket to reach for her fudge, but instead her finger poked out of the bottom. She wiggled her finger around, but the pocket was empty. No fudge, no wet wipes, no tissue in case she got a runny nose. Everything had fallen out, apart from a little bit of fluff that was left in the bottom. Josie sat and thought to herself for a moment. Uh-oh, if I have a hole in my pocket... Maybe I lost my whistle through it too. She stomped her welly with annoyance. Oh, bother! Will Mother be cross, she wondered, for losing everything? No, she thought. It was only an accident. But still decided to head off home. And with that, Josie checked her compass. She didn't really need it, it just made her feel very important, and between you and me, the dial hadn't worked properly, as she dropped it quite a few times. Then she head off home the same way she had come, singing, Josie is my name, finding my whistle is my game, but I think it's gone forever, holes in pockets are not clever. 
Josie's mum was in the kitchen making lunch. Josie's favourite, fat boiled eggs. Josie would call them Mr. Crackleheads. And four buttered fingers that she liked to dip into the red sauce. The door opened and in she came, muddy wellies too. They sat down at the kitchen table. Josie thought about not saying anything, but decided to confess all. I have lost my whistle, and my fudge, and my wet wipes, and even the tissues, and maybe even a few pennies that were in the bottom of my pocket, in case she needed to buy a treat that was, because I have a hole in my coat pocket. Mother listened. Well, that's all right, Josie, Mum said. You didn't mean to lose your things. It was only an accident. You can help me mend it. Josie smiled and with that tapped Mr. Cracklehead with her spoon and gulped down the last of her fruit drink. Josie's mum smiled and went to clear the table. But the red sauce got caught on her sleeve, wobbled and fell onto Josie's lap. Oh dear Josie, I'm so sorry, gasped mum. Josie laughed at the mess and just said, Oh, that's all right, mum. It was only an accident. After all, Josie knows something about kitchen mess. Have you heard that story? Oh, my word. Now that one was a mess. They cleared the table and the mess and sang together. Come and sing our little song that we sing when things go wrong. When things don't go as they're meant, don't worry, it's only an accident. Josie finished and went to wait for Gemma to come home from her friend's party. She wandered casually up the stairs, slowly, one step at a time, and started to whistle. I hear you found your whistle after all, called Mum. Josie stopped on the staircase and thought for a moment, and seemed very pleased with herself. I have, haven't I? She called back, and proceeded to whistle the best tune she had ever whistled before. Can you whistle? <laughs>